doing the YouTube live right now. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody also. Haven't come in yet. Because 12 o'clock. Okay. Right? Yes. Actually, on YouTube live, uh, I think some people are already there. Yep. Hi, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. This is uh, exclusive uh, special insights uh, by... Uh, Guangsheng, our special guest today, okay? Right, so we are one minute in. Hi, everyone. Nice to see you all on YouTube Live. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> so today's topic will be, you know, corporate action analysis. As you know, uh, you know, the over the past few weeks and months, you know, SIA has been have, having this uh, rights uh, uh, and uh, bonds issue, right? So a lot of uh, retail investors have been scratching their heads, you know, what's going on and all. So this is the video to watch if you want to fully understand what's going on, okay? Guangsheng will totally break it down for you. Okay. Hi everyone, Can I'm Guangsheng, yes. So basically I'll be starting on a SIA video on explaining what is this whole rights exercise about and what is the purpose for. So please enjoy this video first before I proceed more. You may have heard about Singapore Airlines' $8.8 .8 billion rights issue. Here are five things you need to know about it. Why is Singapore Airlines undertaking this rights issue? The COVID-19 pandemic has led to a drastic and sudden global decline in air travel demand. Like many airlines, Singapore Airlines had to respond quickly. Singapore Airlines and Silke have cut their combined capacity by 96% while Scoot is expecting capacity cuts of approximately 98%. As a result, the group has experienced a significant decrease in passenger revenues. During this period of uncertainty, Singapore Airlines is focused on building liquidity and strengthening its balance sheet. This offering of rights shares and rights mandatory convertible bonds or rights MCBs will allow the company to meet its liquidity requirements as well as provide Singapore Airlines with the financial flexibility to capture medium to long-term growth beyond the COVID-19 pandemic. This will also allow... You may have heard... ...the company to meet its liquidity requirements as well as provide Singapore Airlines with the financial flexibility to capture medium to long-term growth beyond the COVID-19 pandemic. This will also allow Singapore Airlines to continue its fleet renewal, as well as improve operating efficiencies and strengthen its competitive advantages. What are the key points you need to know about the rights shares and rights MCBs? For every two existing shares you hold as at 8th May, you will be eligible to subscribe for three rights shares. For example, if you hold 1,000 shares, you can subscribe for 1,500 rights shares. You can also choose to apply for more. Rights shares will be issued at $3 each, representing an approximate discount of over 30% to the theoretical X rights price and over 50% to the last transacted price before rights issue announcement. Rights MCBs will be issued in the denomination of $1 each. For every 100 existing shares you hold as at 8th May, you will be eligible to subscribe for 295 rights MCBs. This means that if you hold 1,000 shares, you will be eligible to subscribe for 2,950 rights MCBs. You can also choose to apply for more. The rights shares and rights MCBs are being offered at the same time but the offers are independent and separate. 
How do Rights MCBs work? Rights MCBs are zero coupon bonds. On every six month anniversary of the issue date, Singapore Airlines has the option to redeem some or all of the Rights MCBs. If the Rights MCBs are redeemed, holders will receive the redemption amounts in cash only, based on the predetermined yields to call, which ranges from 4 to 6% per annum, compounded semi annually, depending on the dates of redemptions. For example, if Singapore Airlines decides to redeem some rights MCBs in year 5 or on the 9th semi-annual date and it redeems 1,000 of your holding of rights MCBs, you will receive $1,248.86 in cash based on a 5% per annum yield to call. If the rights MCBs are not redeemed before the 10th anniversary of the issue date, the rights MCBs will accrue a 6% yield and will be converted into shares at the conversion price set initially at $4.84 per share, subject to possible adjustment. For example, if you hold 1,000 rights MCBs at maturity, you will receive 373 shares. What can you do and how do you subscribe? You may choose to subscribe for the rights shares and or the rights MCBs or apply for excess. Renounce your rights entitlements. Trade your rights entitlements in the market during the rights trading period. Or do nothing and allow your rights entitlements to lapse. If you wish to subscribe for the rights shares and or the rights MCBs, you can apply through the following means. DBS or POSB, OCBC or UOB ATMs or through the online application website via a pay now fund transfer as mode of payment or by submitting your application forms to CDP or Singapore Airlines share registrar. What are the important dates? The offer starts on Wednesday 13th May 2020 at 9 a.m and ends on Thursday, 28th May 2020 at 5 p.m. Singapore time for applications through the online application website and using application forms. For applications through ATMs, the offer ends on Thursday, 28th May 2020 at 9.30 p.m. For more information, please visit the Singapore Airlines Rights Issue online application website. Do read the offer information statement dated 8th May 2020. You should have received a hard copy or you can find it on SGX Net. You may also call the Singapore Airlines Rights Issue Helpline at 6878-1375 if you have any questions from Monday to Friday except public holidays between 9am and 5pm. Thank you for your interest in Singapore Airlines Rights Issue. This advertisement or publication has not been reviewed by the Monetary Authority of Singapore. Okay. Hi, everyone. So why is this um, um, YouTube Live that is um, presenting that is so important to all investors of SIA? Basically, as of now, there is an arbitrage opportunity for people who own SIA shares. I'm very, very sure that a lot of you own SIA shares and don't know how to do with the rights or how to do with the mother shares. But basically, the funds know what is going on. And that is why the price plunge. I just give you a, a scenario that has happened that you all didn't know. And this is actually what actually happened before that. I'm going to share it with. You all can take a look. Before the, during the rights after XR, we realized that the institution has already sold 87.1 million of SIA shares. Why do they sell SIA shares? Because it is well known that during the rights trading, SIA share will plunge. Because it presents an arbitrage opportunity for people who own SIA shares, including the institution. Later, I will explain life. If you have SIA shares or what happened if the institution has SIA share, how would they profit from it? 
I'm pretty sure all of us buy SIA share at a very high price, meaning that you could have bought it at $10, $11, $9, or $8. But you are not willing to sell it because you lost so heavy. But if you do not do anything with your SIA shares, you are worse off. So for every 10,000 share of SIA, based on today's market, you could crystallize a profit of five to $600 net after brokerage by doing an arbitrage, by selling the SIA mother shares and buying the R. And because a lot of retail investors do not know how to calculate the rights and didn't know there's a rights, so when it was close CR at 591 and it plunged to 420, everyone thinks that SIA is a good buy. Immediately, everybody call their friends, hey, SIA has plunged. Shouldn't we buy SIA shares? The answer is no. What is the reason? It is because the following week, there will be a right share that's going to be traded. And as of now, all of us can see that what is the outcome? The outcome is the price keep dropping. So you see who are the retail investors who bought it at the, after the, the, from the $4.20 to the $5. 83.9 million are bought by the retail investors and they are burnt. So for those people who have this SIA shares and you bought a lot, I'll be teaching you to how to get back some money from it. Okay? So what are the next thing that we need to do in order to, to, to understand about this right issue? First, we need to know what is the price that is being, uh, be, be, being traded. Let me explain to you on, on the thing first. As of now, I'll be logging into my um, trading account to give a, a, a live, live example on what you should do if, let's make it, you have SIA shares to lock in this arbitrage opportunity. Give me a while while I lock it in. Yes, wait. Okay, I will, I will do a screen share. Okay, so now all of you can see that SIA now is traded at 384. Am I right to say that? And we can know that SIA mother's arm, um, the rice is traded at 76 cents. So what does this mean? It means that the arbitrage difference between the SIAR and the SIA shares has an eight cents difference. Okay, remember just now the video says, if you have SIAR, basically you need to top up $3 to become a mother share. That means you will get a SIA share by topping up $3 if you have the right share, or if you buy from the open market at 76 cents, you top up $3, you will get a SIA mother share beginning of June. So what will the funds do? I give you one example. If I have, uh, if I have 100 million shares of SIA, what would I do? If I don't do anything, it will be a mistake. So the funds has a lot of SIA. What they do is very simple. I just give you an example what I will do like a funds. I use it using a 10,000 share as an example. So by trading SIA, Wait, I just key in the token. Wait, I just show you real life example what I will do. Wait. Okay, so what I will do is I will sell SIA if I have the shares and I will sell it at 383. Okay, I put 383. So I will sell 10,000 shares example. Let's make it I have 10,000 shares now on hand. So I'll explain to you all. Okay, so now I'm selling at 384. Can you see? Now it's still going to show that it's going to open at 384 because I'm doing a matching. But then I will buy 10,000 R. Can you see? I buy 10,000 R now. I show you the difference. Come, I show you. So I put at 10, 76 cents. So basically you can see that at matching price during a lunch time, I will be buying at 75 half and I will be selling at 384. Do remember that when I buy SIA R shares, I am given the right to go and purchase the mother share by topping up at $3. So effectively, I am selling SIA at 384 and I'm buying SIA back at 3 
dollar and seven, uh, three dollar and seventy five and a half cent. Do you understand that? So imagine a fund has hundred million of SIA shares. What they will do is they will dump SIA at three eighty four, and they will buy the R at seventy six cents. Basically, most of the brokerages or the major funds have negligible brokerage. So by doing this action, they will make eight million dollars. But if they do not do anything to the shares, basically they don't even make this eight million, and they are intending to hold this SIA share for long run, and that is why they are just selling the mother share and buying the R shares, and you have so much shares flooded in the market. What will SIA share be? The price will keep going down, and that is the reason why you see that when the moment the right trade from four twenty nine it open at four ten, four ten it close at four three ninety and keep going down. Only today is stabilized because a lot of this arbitrage was done on the first two days, and today we can see that the arbitrage has already subsided. So, for people who has SIA shares, what should you do? You could consider by selling at your SIA shares. Let's make it you have ten thousand shares at three eighty four, and buy ten thousand R at seventy six cents, and make the difference. Basically, it's equivalent to one banquet meal. But what is the risk of doing this? Imagine that during this period where you are going to convert the rights into the mother share, and the mother share go up to five dollars, you cannot sell, and that is why the discount is for this risk. That's all. But beginning of June, when the right share come back to your to the to the your CDP account, you will have effectively the same ten thousand. R shares, the ten thousand shares from the R that is converted into the mother. Do you all understand this? So that is why it's very important to understand that if you buy SIA now, for people who know how to do arbitrage, they will be selling the SIA shares and buying the SIA R shares. For people who has SIA R share R, what should they do? My advice to you is very simple. You already feel that you already lost heavily on SIA. Am I right to say that? I have clients who actually um have about maybe two thousand, three thousand share of SIA, maybe by five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars. They told me I don't want to cut loss. I want to sell the R share because I don't want to top up because I'm very scared of the airlines. But they should not be selling the R. In fact, they should be selling the SIA because effectively, when you sell the SIA R, you are selling at zero point. Seven six, which is equivalent to three point seven six for SIA. Why don't you go and spend three dollars to go and top up and sell the mother and make the difference between the eight cents? And that is why SIA is still not stable because the rights will be still trading until the twenty first of May, and a lot of people haven't received their book. And once they receive their book, usually the allotment, they will go and sell either the rights or the mother shares. And for those people who understand this whole mechanism, especially the funds. They will sell the SIA and buy the R. Eight cents is a lot of arbitrage for a lot of funds. So basically, as long as the funds or retail or high net worth have SIA, they will continue to sell SIA and buy the R. On what circumstances will people um sell the R? People who do not understand, or people who do not want to go through the hassle of going to the ATM or going online now to pay now. To pay for the SIA shares, but already this is one of the new precedents set by SIA, where you are allowed to apply online. Usually, when you apply for the right shares, you have to go through the ATM. You have to submit the forms. So that is the reason why you can see the SIA. If you do this now, SIA, you can sell the SIA shares and buy the right shares. So now I'm going to withdraw the the order because it's not I want to show you all just the example that. It can be done. So the moment I do it, I'm selling at three eighty four, and I'm buying at three seventy six. So I will make eight hundred dollars for the ten thousand, assuming I have this amount of shares. Okay, let me withdraw first. Okay, so you understand this part. So the next thing that you need to understand is, I'm sharing the next thing that you need to understand is, SIA itself correct. There are website that you 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 can. You can you you can you you can go and see. So I'm I, I'm showing you all the 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 screenshot with. Okay, 
So now you all can see that now SIA itself has this website for you to go into this website to go and subscribe to your rights and just now see the video. So on top of that, I want to explain to you all is this, that this is the website that you can, you can now go into the website as just now shown in the Word document. And then what can you do? You can apply online. It save a lot of hazard and you can pay by, you can apply these rights through pay now. So just now I will explain to you, if you sell your mother and you buy the rights, basically the rights can be converted into one mother share during the early of June. So you should consider doing it. But again, should SIA go up between the, the period where the right share is being credited to your CDP account, you have no option to sell because the shares is not being credited. That is the only risk. And also when you apply for SIA right issue, if you have the chance, I would encourage that you apply for access as well because they are, you are buying SIA share at $3. For those who do not, do not want the SIA shares or forget to apply the right shares, basically it will go into what we call this excess pool. And the more you get, the more you make. But what is the risk again? What happened when the right share is being converted to mother and come back? below $3, that means the rights, the mother share during that time where the right share is being credited to become a mother share is at $3 and below, then you may lose money. So there's no such thing as 100% risk-free. So when you apply for access, you must ensure that you do not think that SIA will go below $3. Okay? So all this information, you can just go here and then apply online. I can show you just like that. How does it work? So this is the rights that you have to click that you, you are going to apply online and then you agree on this information and then you can come here, you see? So this is how you're going to apply for your SIA right shares and then you can pay through pay now. All this, you can go through the steps. Okay? So the next thing that I want to share with you all is that there are a lot of things you need to know about SIA. You want to know whether is it a good company to, to, to invest. You should always go to under securities, under sgx.com website, go under company information and go under the company announcement. And then you search for SIA. And there are a lot of interesting things that you can look. So one of the more interesting things that I think you all should look at, correct, is to look at the, um, the, the presentation to explain to you how are they faring? So you can see that this is one of the things that actually I went to the company announcement and they give me all, all the information that I need. You have the aviation landscape, the group landscape, overview of SIA, summary of the rights issue and proposed additional issue. What is the rationale? And you should go through all this information provided by SIA to be more informed and whether to subscribe for the rights or do this investment. If you are not comfortable with this SIA right stop up, then my advice to you is you should just sell the SIA mother shares. But if let's make it that you totally don't want the whole, whole, whole thing, including the shares, the mother share and the rights, you can sell everything. But always my priority is my advice is you should always sell the SIA shares. After that, then you consider selling the rights. But do remember, you must know how to press for the right issue at the ATM or just now what they're suggesting through the pay now. Because if you forget to apply for your, for your right issue to convert into mothership, you will all go into the excess pool and you will lose very heavy. Assuming the SIA is at $3.84 now, you basically will lose $0.84. Cents. Why? Because you forget to you never top out the $3, but it has a value of $0.84 cents for the rights. Okay, so the next thing that you all need to know correct is that the, the, the information that you have to see correct is what should we do now? So what we should we do now is where we, we need to look at the SIA itself, the shares, like you see a lot of retail investors don't understand how it works. And that is why you can minimize your losses for those people who bought earlier last week when you buy between $4.20 to $5, you still have, to have an option to sell SIA shares and buy the SIAR to reduce your loss. Effectively, you are buying at $3.76 for SIA and you are selling at $3.84. Okay, so this is one thing that you all have to take note. For those people who really don't understand and bought SIA at $5 last week, 
I'm sad to tell you that actually the SIA shares that you bought, correct, is actually at $8. How do we calculate SIA shares when you buy last week when it is XR at $5 is equals to $8? Let me do a share screen to your on the, on it, wait. Okay, so assuming that you bought SIA share, okay, SIA share CR last day trading was at 591 close. So when it XR, it get down to $4.20. This price is the correct price because 420 plus 420 plus you are given how much is the rights now? How do we calculate rights? You take Mother share minus away the top up at $3, so you get it at $120. Plus 120 plus 120 because every two share will give you three rights. As of now, you will have it. Then you what happen? You divided by two. Wait. So basically, what is the amount it is? So you take 420 plus 420 plus 120 plus 120 plus 120, and you divide it by two, equivalent to estimated six dollar. This is the correct price. But as just now I show you all the, the S um the SGX fund flow, the retail investor went to buy the funds dumping of 87 for um, 80 plus million because they thought, oh, 591. Plunge to 420. Wow, it's a good buy. So everybody chase from $4.20. Go to 5 plus. Where you went to? You went to 5 plus. $5. Let's make it we go to $5. So $5, what is SIA value? Do you know SIA value if you buy at $5 is equivalent to what? You are buying at I tell you what you're buying. $5 plus $5 plus. The right, then what would be the right price? 5 minus 3 equals to 2. So plus 2, plus 2, plus 2, divided by 2 is equals to $8. It's atrocious. So what is the chances of you when the airline industry is doing badly and there is a right issue, how can SIA not plunge? So those people who chase this share, that is why they got burned. So basically at 591, it went to $8. They went to buy at 470. Let's make it you buy at 470. Let me tell you, I buy at 470, what price you are buying SIA at that time. You buy at 470, you say, wow, SIA dropped from 591, I buy at 470. You'll be a very good buy. But in reality, you are buying at what price, you know that or not? I think a lot of retail investors don't even know what they are doing. And the funds are happy, happily lo loading all the SIA shares to your because one by one, all spec by word about saying that SIA has plunged. Goodbye, faster go and buy. And everybody lose so much money. And that is the reason why I, I'm giving this talk to educate, to reduce the damage. So you buy it at what price? Let me tell you how much you buy. You are buying at $7.25. You are not buying at a discount. So today, you know what's SIA price or not? The price that is that, that is the real price. 384. So we put a 384 plus 384 plus 184 plus 84 cents plus 84 cents. Wait. So let me tell you what is the price currently SIA has since um since C um since XR, how much has it plunged? Plus 384 plus 0 0.84 plus 0 0.84 plus 0 0.84 divided by 2. SIA has plunged from 591 to $5.10. That is why there is an issue. And the problem is as long as there is uh, arbitrage, the thing may continue to fall. So I'm showing you all the, 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 the thing again. So let me share back the... The, the share price again. Okay, now you all look at this SIA. So at this price that you are buying at 384, effectively, you are buying this 
SRA at 510 since it is XR. Now, the killer thing is you have to take note that now that you understand what price you are buying, you already know SIA has plunged. It may plunge further as long as this arbitrage exists between the 384 and 76 cents. Because as long as you imagine yourself, if you are a fund, let's make it you have 10 million of SIA share, which is not a lot to them. They have 38.4 million of SIA value shares. They will sell the, continue to sell the mother and buy the R to do uh, arbitrage. And by doing that, they will make a few hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, I guess. Okay? So now, the next thing I want to advise is on this SIA MCBR. For those people who have this MI, SIA MCBR, basically, my advice to you is by right, this thing is worthless. Why? Because SIA already said that there's no calculation for this. And I believe because it costs $1 to top up, the market that side will definitely underwrite and take up everything. So they are looking for people to buy this $1. And a lot of retail investors are only aiming for the right shares to be converted into a mother. So they will apply for that. But a lot will forego this SIA MCBR. It's the same as the first day where it was XR when SIA was at 420. All the retail investors went chase because they don't know what is this going on. So for the SIA MCBR, People all thought, wow, this is an SIA brand name thing. I don't know why is it, but it's so cheap. Why? How much can you go down? So they went to buy 1 million shares. They went to buy um, 100,000 shares. But basically, this is, instrument is not meant for you to play because for every 1,000 shares, you need to top up $1,000. So even you buy 100,000 of this MCBR, you still need to find money to top up. If not, at the end of 21st of May, you will be worthless. You totally will have to let go. And for people who wants to buy more of this SIA MCBR, and if you are a own, uh, you own SIA share prior to the SIA um, CR, you can just apply for access. I believe you apply how many you will get, how many. For every share you want for this MCB, the convertible bond, you just need to apply. You just need to put in $1,000. That's all. So there is no use for you to go and buy this. For people who buy this, it's only one thing now they are doing. They don't understand. Or they just want to hope that, oh, that day I saw you, uh, 0.001, you went to 0.019. If I happen to buy it, I can make 19 times. But the time is not, it's against you. By the 21st of May, this whole instrument, this thing, my opinion will be selling at 0.001 or buying at 0.001. Because a lot of people do not want this, especially the funds. And that is why you can see the volume is so highly traded. Because for the funds, they have a lot. Assuming for every 1,000 shares they have, they have 2,950 of the R. So by right, when the first day, when the MCBR is already listed, you should immediately dump. If you really want it, very simple. Just apply access. I am quite quietly confident that you want how many, you will get how many. So this whole exercise is just trying to explain to you that for SIA, before the CR, the funds has been dumping and dumping down to until 591 is because they already expected that during arbitrage period, like now the rights, the price will keep going down. And they sold in advance and they caused SIA price to be depressed. And after that, the XR period, when the rights are not trading, there is no arbitrage opportunity until two days ago when the rice was traded, then people can physically sell the mother and buy the R. Do you understand? If you can sell the mother and you buy the R, you can make the difference. So there are people who have some strategies that they do, that they try to, they believe that 8 cents arbitrage is too great. So some may make a shot the SIA and buy the R, hoping that at the end of the day, the gap close and make the difference. But it is not so simple. So one thing I'm trying to tell y'all is this very simple. This whole video itself correct the um youtube live is to explain to you all that as long as you have sia shares you should sell sia and buy the r if you don't want to do this you are also okay if you assume that sia can go up during this rights conversion period because when you sell the mother share and buy the r you cannot sell sia during this right conversion period do you all understand on that so and of now, if you want to do this conversion, it's because of the thing that you bought SIA high or you want to keep SIA for the long term. 
But by not doing anything, you don't make the difference. So if I were you, I will sell SIA and buy the R. If not, okay, for people, again, now let's learn something. If for people who wants to buy into SIA, should I buy SIA? My answer is if you are doing short-term trading, maybe you can buy SIA. But if I'm doing long run, I will not buy SIA. I will buy SIA R. Why is this so? Because SIA R, now looking at the market going to open, it's going to open at 3.75 um, cents. So I effectively, I only buy at 3.75. So what I need to do is basically, I teach you all again. I treat SIA. Assuming that I want to buy SIA, I just put uh, matching. I put maybe, I want to buy maybe, um, I want to buy maybe um, 2,000 shares because I'm not so rich. So I just buy 2,000 shares. I key in. Okay. So now I key in. I key in for this SIA price. I buy it. So basically, I am buying at 75 cents. So after that, I will go to the ATL. I'll go by pay now and pay another 3,000 times 2 because I buy, I'm buying 2,000 R shares. And effectively, I'm buying SIA at 375. This is a discount. But a lot of people don't know how the rights do. So what will they do? They go and go and buy 384. Buying 384 are for people who are playing short term. That means during this rights conversion period where they think that they got chance to sell. But if you are buying SIA for long term, you should buy the right share because the right share offer a discount to the mother share now as of opening 9 cents. Do you understand that? So this is the reason why I'm explaining this is because if for you, if you want to buy SIA shares now, please buy the R share because the R share is at a discount. For those people who has SIA share, my advice to you is to sell the SIA share and buy the SIA R shares. In fact, if you know how this whole exercise is going to work, buy right before the come rights, you should sell SIA because during this period, we know that it will go down. Because with so many right share and the market is so bad, a lot of people do not have the ability or the money to top up. Or funds itself are cash strapped. That means they don't have so much money. Okay, so you understand this part? Okay. So, the next thing I need to share with you all is this. So basically, how, basically, the time you remember that DLC itself is actually plunged, I do have to admit with the DLC itself, correct, short gen, that their calculation is correct. But unfortunately, that is by based by economic um, mathematics calculation, which I actually also calculated um, under, my, under, under, under my IN subscription under the TD group, Trader Dashboard. I show you all. Sorry, Kwangshen, you're on mute. Okay. Sorry, Kwangshen, you're on I mute. Know. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. So I, I'm explaining on this way. Okay, so now we look at the SIA um, rights, correct? So why do SIA actually need this whole thing, correct? I'm going to explain to you all. Basically, SIA always do a very safe method where they actually hedge their oil. Why is this so? Should oil price go up, they also have their oil between the $50 to the $70 range. But should the oil price come down like now, basically they have passengers who will bear the cost. It is really unprecedented where totally nobody is flying. And because of that, they're hedging their time based on the last presentation that I saw. For every $1 drop in oil, they lose estimated around 140 million. So it is quite sad 
But as if I rebound, I believe their future hedge will be able to do better. So as we can see, a lot of people buy into SIA is because our PM, Lee Sien Dong, assured that they will not let SIA to fail. But I have to warn you all the risk. It does not fail doesn't mean the share price won't come down. And that is why a lot of people actually bought this right, um, the mother share, when it was XR at $4.20 to $5 blindly. Because their rationale is very simple. Since our government promised that they won't let SIA to fail, I buy, I sure win. There is no such thing as sure win for SIA. I give you an example. Chartered Semiconductor. I have many clients who bought it at $20. It belongs to the government. The government never let Chartered Semiconductor fail. But at the end of the day, all my clients lost heavily. Some of them sold um, below $1. So what is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is very simple. The government assured that this whole thing will not go bust. But that doesn't mean that the share price will not go down. So what actually will happen? It actually means that when you buy SIA, you must pray that the airlines can start to function properly again or they can get back to normal and fly again. If this COVID-19 is going to drag for two to three years, I can tell you they are going to burn a lot of cash. And even below the billion, even you may pay at $3, the right issue price, correct? You also cannot recover. But what happens if they find a cure, a fast way to test for this COVID-19? I can safely tell you that SIA itself will rebound. But as of now, the unknown uncertainty is very simple. Are we still going to travel soon? Or are things going back to normal? If things are not going back to normal, how is SIA going to survive? If SIA cannot survive, they are going to burn the cash. And all this cash is through this right issue and MCB. And the bulk of it actually is from the government. If the government actually now has a lot of things to look into, and that is why they want to share this joy or what we call pain with all the shareholders. So it may not necessarily be a good thing or it may not necessarily be a showing thing. So I'm warning you all that when you all do this um, SIA rights, you buy the shares or you are buying now with the enthusiasm that the government guarantee you that they will not let SIA to fail, it doesn't mean price 100% will go up. I have a lot of people from air stewards or people who invested um, in SIA all tell me one thing. I'm very sure SIA will come back. I'm very sure SIA will do well, blah, 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 blah. These are all hearsay or their own perception. But whether they can pull through this crisis, you really depend on this COVID-19. So please enter this SIA with eyes open. You A lot of people already enter without eyes open, without people guiding them to go and buy the, the rights. Or to go and um uh, or go and buy blindly when the XR they saw it plunge to 420, went up to 470, went to five dollars, and come back down, they went to all chase. This is equivalent to throwing money into the, the sea. Because if you want to buy, you should buy around this week or next week when the rice is traded about three days later, four days later. Yeah, that is when the price has stabilized. Because those arbitrage that need to be done will have been done on the first two days. And that is why yesterday you saw the right issue for for SIA dropped until $3.70. Do you understand the reason now? The reason is because of this rights, there is this arbitrage, and this is causing a lot of people misery. Why? Because they have no choice, they have no money to top up, they just have to sell the mother or buy the R. If the fund itself thinks SIA is such a good buy, the price won't punch. Reason is very simple. Basically, the rights that is given for every 1,000, they get 1,500 R, they can just top up another $3. But everybody knows that recently, the last few days, you go and look at all the chart for all the airlines, all tumble, like United Airlines, everything you around the world. So airlines are not doing well. So a fact that if airlines are not doing well, you enter SIA, you buy on hope that the airline industry will recover. Understand? And why we like to buy SIA? Because it's our, it's, it belongs to Singapore. It's a baby. We do not want this flagship to fall. So I am also one of them. I am buying it. But the problem is I'm buying only on the last few days when the rights have stabilized. And I will not buy the mother share. I will buy the right share to keep. Because I'm buying at a discount. Okay? So I already calculated that there are two ways to calculate. But since SIA itself have really said, we ignore the MCB. And that is why the basic calculation... It is based on um, 419 estimated per share which was opened, which I already shown in my calculation. 
Okay, this one is actually under the subscription service and I post to the public because I'm working together with a team under this um, trader dash dashboard. And we are issuing a lot of reports and everything for to, to analyze. And it's done by my members who are savvy in research. They study about the economic fundamental and technical analysis. So when we look at it, correct, we the problem with this whole thing is this called rights MCB. Now it's already too late for people to sell, but those people who has it by right on the first day, you should just sell this rights MCB. Because to me, if you want access, you could get it just by applying for access. I am pretty sure millions or hundreds of millions of this MCB will not be taken up and it will be taken up by the market. So you do not need to pay money to buy this. So why do you even pay 0.001, 0.002? If you are buying, I can tell you, you are just betting that you will go up. Okay? You do remember, you need to top up one, $1. So what happened is, for you buy 100,000 shares, and 100,000 shares, it costs you only, like, let me count for you, 0 0.001, 0 0.001. It costs you $100, but you have to come up with 100,000 to top up. Who in the right mind got 100,000 top up or MCB that's going to start you for 10 years? That is why most people will not, unless you are really a real long-term supporter of SIA, you believe 10 years, they will, they will pull through this crisis and you cannot find any better way to get your return. So you go and buy into this, this bond. But I believe when the market has crashed, there are better ways to part your money than buying this MCB. Okay? So you can see that my calculation is very close. You can see that my calculation is very, very close to the um, DLC calculation. That is why they use this calculation. But SIA disagree. So there is no right, there's no wrong because this whole exercise is very complicated because it's a 10-year MCB. So if we use um, the, the financial calculation, the, the, that is why they, 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 they put it as 371. Okay? So, so basically, correct. I already said that, um, said, said, said that this one, correct, for the SIA, correct, prior, I will, I will be asking people, correct, to, I will buy, I'll be buying at time two share of SIA because I want to participate in the excess. Because if you buy during the CR period, you will be able to apply for excess. And if a lot of people forget to apply or never apply for the SIA, uh, you basically got a chance to get a few hundred shares. Also, you can make tens of dollars, also not too bad. So do you understand on, on this? So a lot of these things, correct, is a lot of tedious work of analysis and, and studying. And that is why I just post it under my, the, the, the subscription um, page. And basically, we will issue a report under this um, um, traders um, dashboard. So if you are interested, you all can, can, can go in and then, and then have a look and subscribe. Yeah. I hand over to Ethan. Okay, thanks, Guangsheng, for the very informative uh, insights on uh, SIA and uh, the rights and the MCB. So uh, I hope this uh, session uh, actually helped a lot of uh, viewers out there to actually understand the whole entire situation better. Because like I said earlier, you know, like Guangsheng said earlier, a lot of people have been uh, uh, confused about this. All right. So I think with this, uh, Guangsheng, thank you, Guangsheng, for doing such a great presentation. And thank you all the viewers for tuning in. All right. This uh, will be recorded and uh, will be on our YouTube live. Okay. Thank you so much. So uh, this and uh, I think Guangsheng is actually sharing the screen for what yeah. uh, they have been doing for uh, the yeah. Traders Dashboard subscription, which is in our platform. Okay. Yeah, if so, you're so, interested. Yeah, I, I didn't see that. Yes. So I just showed yeah. you all that that's the calculation, all this, how, 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 how I'll derive. So it's inside here. That's why it was yes. actually the, yes, here. Correct. So I this is actually, no worries. So this is actually the, the, the analysis that actually Guangsheng did, I think a uh, couple of weeks ago, right? Or is it? Yes, uh, correct. A couple of weeks ago before. This yeah, a couple of recently. Yes, even before the, 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 the rights will begin to trade on the, on the market. So this one was in the trader's dashboard. So if you're interested, uh, we have a link below in the uh, in the post. All right. So with that, I think we end this session. Thank you so much, Guangsheng, and thank you all the viewers. Yes, thank you very much. All right, thank you. So Guangsheng, if uh, they have questions, uh, they can PM they can me post also. It. Yeah, they can they post, post it or on PM the, me. Yeah. Yes, they are posted on the uh, post on our investing note post, and Guangsheng will take it from there. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank, you. thank you.